Alright, Kavala Yahweh, Bashem Yabashai, Bashem Akakadash. Double honors to the Yavas and Apostles, Great Millstone Arubel. I am not a member. However, I've entered into their labors. Peace and blessings to the sincere brothers and sisters doing this wherever you are, whatever your lot may be. This, um, I'm pretty sure, you know, uh, well, I, I won't say I'm sure, but I don't plan on this being very long. But I just want to get a couple scriptures and add to the, um, Measuring the time diligently slash uh, fast track or bullet train to prophetic fulfillment. So as you can see here, the title tells you all. And um, of course we understand that NATO in the EU is the beast system. Okay. And they will work together to come up with the M-A-R-K and that is how you will operate within their system that is how you worship the beast that is how you uh, live um, not only live, worship and look to him you are putting his stamp on you of ownership Okay, and when the Bible speaks of, I believe in Revelation 17, last time I said um, Jeremiah, I messed up when I talked about uh, the beast hating the whore and burning up with fire. But that whore that rides on top of the beast, beast is America. Um, I need Jeremiah 50 up, so we'll just open up another window before we... Um, dang it, what was I typing in? Is it four? I think it's 17. I, I, it's all in Revelation 17, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I carry me away in spirit. Ah, yes, okay. So he carried me away in the spirit, I'm starting at verse 3, in the wilderness I saw a woman sit upon a scarlet colored beast, so that scarlet colored beast, notice it's always variants of red, uh, denoting who, Job 9 and 24, and uh, Malachi, the first, uh, Malachi 1 and 4, who the wicked is, and who the earth, Job 9 and 24, is given into the hands of, and who they look like, or what they look like, so it's always some sort of derivative of red. Um, Alright, colored beast, so that beast is NATO in the EU, um, that is old Rome. Now you have Rome 2.0 personified within America, but these beast systems is Rome, it would be old Rome and its vassal states present day. Okay, um, and then you see you have the whore or the woman that sat on top of it, that is America. Full of names of blasphemy, having seven heads and ten horns. Alright, and the woman was arrayed in purple and scarlet color and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls, having golden cup in her hand, full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication. Alright, and upon her forehead was a name written, Mystery Babylon, the great mother of harlots and abominations of the earth. And you know that is right here, because every, every type of wickedness that has gone on throughout the entire uh, the entirety of known history is rebranded and repurposed, repackaged, recycled right here in Babylon the Great. So when it talks about that beast uh, hating the whore and burning her with fire, uh, and the ten horns we saw the ten kings, no. So maybe it's not there, but it, it does talk about, let's see. <laughs> I'd be mad if I was already in the right chapter. I was, so it's verse 16. Okay. Her desolate, she'll make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire. Right, so... You start to see the, the makings of this thing happening, and that is how prophecy works. That is how the Lord works here. There are key moments that add up and build this thing up to where it's boom. It's right there in your face. 
Europe needs its own military bloc, free of American influence. Why? Because the wine is starting to affect everyone else. Everybody that it that has adopted it, everybody that has drank of that cup, they are becoming or have been affected, but now they're starting to <laughs> partake of the curses because of that wine. And they're they are feeling the burn because America is greedy. America is all about America and no one and nothing else. Alright, the solution would be a European NATO. Right, the Americans desire uh, Orban said that said arguing Oh, uh, that's a different, okay, so arguing that America's desire for further expansion of its influence is what led to the current tension between the West and Russia, which is true. Um, they are essentially throwing uh, throwing rocks and hiding the hand and painting themselves to be a hero. And, you know, the people of the U place... Um, need freedom and, and need help and need saving and all of this money and make no mistake about it it is your tax paying dollars but all of this money is going towards that and um we have you know babylon has her own issues so there would be war like i said in the pre or maybe two videos ago there would be war within and there would be war without and just like uh the old rome how the military was stretched in you will have that here you will see that today and you will see her allies, America's, this, this, this Babylon's allies, begin to turn against her, right? Moscow is concerned about NATO expanding further east into Ukraine and Georgia, which was the issue. That was the agreement, okay, um, that Russia would no longer, that wouldn't, Russia wouldn't expand and NATO wouldn't, uh, wouldn't encroach on their territory. So that was the agreement. But of course, Babylon the Great, who has never kept the treaty in their entire existence, um, even betrays his own brother. Now you got this so called white on white crime on an international level. Alright, let's see. Alright, he insisted Hungary should stay out of the conflict but added that Budapest was subject to constant pressure and other Western nations want to drag us into the war through every possible means. <laughs> so, as you see, he's, I, I think that so far he's one of the only ones that I, so far that I've seen that has really gone hard, and I'm sure that these other nations are going to follow suit in the times to come, because who blows up a pipeline and make your allies suffer? It, uh, it, it's crazy to me. All right. All right. Remove verse 50 and 8. Jeremiah verse 50 and 8. Remove out of the midst of Babylon and go forth out of the land of the Chaldees and be as he goes before the flock. Um, for the Lord, raise and call. Okay, here we are. For lo, I will raise and cause to come up against Babylon an assembly of great nations from the north country, and they shall set themselves array against her. From thence she shall be taken, and their arrows shall be as if the mighty expert man. None shall return in vain. And those arrows are referring to missiles. And you know this isn't about old Babylon, because old Babylon was taken over by the Persians, and the, the, the city was not harmed. You can find that on your own. So you have to be in the spirit in order to understand uh, what's going on here because even though Jeremiah wrote this uh, during the Babylonian captivity or to the the, the uh, southern kingdom or, or Judah, Judah, Benjamin, Judah, and Levi he wrote this to them in that time this was speaking to, uh, 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 as far as to now as well alright let's see what else is in here okay call for peace Hostilities benefited no one in the world. Hungary was also the only NATO nation to voice support for China's peace plan. Okay, so, alright, you already see dissension. Okay. And make no mistake, 
this is <laughs> Edomites going at other Edomites, all right? Um, damn, what was I going to get? How about this? If a kingdom divided, that's what we need. Matthew 12 and 25 and this is when the they were calling him Beelzebub saying he cast out devils with devils right so Yahweh I knew their thoughts and said unto them every kingdom divided against itself is brought to desolation every city or house divided against itself shall not stand and as you can see this is the beginning of an undivided for well not really the beginning but the the um you're beginning to see the fruits of an undivided front here. So, yet again, we have one more thing to look at to keep an eye on. And you can see how prophecy is slowly starting to build, but at the same time, it's not very slow at all. And that is the beauty of the work of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So, while we're here, I did not spell that right. <laughs> Circumspect. Lee. How about that? Circumspect Lee. Because we, we we are fast approaching. I Ephesians 5 and 15. So we are fastly and quickly approaching. So if you are on the fence, you need to pray for the Spirit, for discernment. Pray until Yahweh Bashim Shai that He makes His will your delight. And that moving forward, you always consider the fear of the Lord with the things that you do. See then. This is Ephesians 5 and 15, that ye walk circumspectly, not as fools, but as wise, redeeming the time, because the days are evil. Point blank, period. And we, and I say we humbly, hopefully are not on the wrong side of judgment, all right? Because the things leading up to the return of our Lord and Savior, Havashai, are nothing but turmoil, right? The days of the, the day of the Lord is darkness and not light. Alright, so keep praying, keep the faith, keep reading, keep learning, and keep pushing forward, exercising that faith muscle, exercising that discernment muscle, exercising <clears throat> that muscle of restraint, and exercising operating in the spirit. With that being said, Shalom.